Oh, you got me, beat me to it. Um, okay, we're on the bottom of Yudam and Beis. We left off. Shtickle in the middle of a sugya. Uh, so we were talking about we were talking about a girl to have a Kenyan chotzer. So there was a machlaikis whether to you give a girl a get, um, whether she, the whether a woman a girl has chotzer or doesn't have and, and has arba amos or not. All right. So what's the machlaikis talian and whether chotzer is shlichus or whether chotzer is a yad. So a yad, if it's yad, then she has it. If it's shlichus, then then a uh, cotton cannot make shlichus. Right? So then we said, in the sugi of shlichus, so we asked, ain't shliach with vara veira, how could a yard be a shliach? Which is a, it's an interesting question, because a yard is an inanimate object, but that's what the Gemara is asking, how could it be considered a shliach? So the Gemara had two terots. It says, when do you say ain't shliach with vara veira? The first terots was that only when the shliach is a bar chiyuva. A chotzer is not a bar chiyuva in Geneva. Right? So that was the first teret. And the second teret was ancient of Varavera. That's where he has a choice whether he wants to do the Avera or not, the Shliach. But a chotzer, a chotzer doesn't have a choice. If you put stolen property into a chotzer, the chotzer can't exactly spit it out. So Mimela, that you can you can only say ancient of Varavera when the person has its own free will, I guess. Free will. That's that's right. So then we said, okay, what's enough to mean between the two between the two tirutsim? So we said if a Kayan asks a Yisrael to go marry a Grusha for the Kayan, he makes the Yisrael a Shliach to marry a Grusha. So Yisrael is allowed to marry a Grusha. Right? A Kayan can marry a Grusha. So the Shliach that's him doing nothing wrong by going to marry a grusha, but he's not marrying it for himself, he's marrying it for the coin. That's what that do you mean he's not doing anything wrong. I don't understand. Ha- what does that mean? What does that mean? So if Khalilid is a khaila who can eat chaza, so the cha- so he makes you a shlich to eat chaza for him. So you're good, you're good to go. No, we're saying ain't shlich with Varavera. The shliach has got the issue. So then what's the shliach? So how does the shliach with the coin doesn't work? That's what you're saying? Well, yeah, basically. Oh, meaning normally, normally a shliach is doing an iser, right? But here, he's not doing an iser. If it was just himself, he's not doing an iser. It's not just himself. Like, what are we talking about? And what does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. Meaning, well, what's the uh, have a meaning that it should work? What the, what's the have meaning that the coins marry? How can you tell me the coins marry? So then every coin can marry a grush. You just pay pays the guy five thousand for him. Well, what be, what you do with the whole Tyra cooler? Is you can, he's, what, what gonna, you he's gonna be married. It's just an iser, right? It's just an iser. Um, you can learn this Gemara if you do Tshuva, I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear. The Kiddushin is how? It's just the Nisus. So what are we learning Shari Tshuva for? It's just the Yisurim <laughs> he's talking about. What's the difference? Well, because if people wouldn't do Yisurim, then Shari Tshuva would have no business. <laughs> uh, no, the, it's it's a technical, it's, you know, we, uh, you know we, we always say that, but it's a technical thing here that if you hold that you could say yesh liach lidvar avera if the shliach is be'etzim not doing an avera, so then it would taka work. That yeh exactly your time. That's a, it would work if the shliach oh. is not doing an avera. If the shliach is not doing oh. an avera. Right. The sh- my, sh- my example is not the right example because the shliach is not allowed to eat chaz. Right. Oh, right. Find a place. Allah yeh taka, let's say he's a choyl. She yesh pesakana, and he could eat chaz. That's the only food they have here. So he eats chaz. So a guy tells me, by the way, Eat some chazer for me. I mean, obviously, it doesn't work, but uh, but yeah, that would be a, that would be the case. Um, um, yeah. So that so then and then the other example is having a woman go shave a cotton. 
no, or whatever, cut off his payas. Right? To, to, so we have a woman cut off cut off, cut off a cotton's payas. So we said Tysus and Rashi say that why cotton or even an adult. So we said just because an adult will not let or not allow a lady to cut the payas. But either way, so depending on what tarots you go with, that would be the nafkamina on whether this is considered a uh, shlichus. Right? If, if you'd say that the shliach has free will, then he's considered a shliach. So the shliach has free will. And the shliach, the shliach is not a good shliach. Right? But if you say that the shliach has to be a bar chayuba in the din, then a lady shaving pace on behalf of somebody is not, She's not in the din. So then the the shlichus would work. Right? And the same thing, a Yisrael would not be, uh, would is not in the din of marrying a Grusha, so then it would be okay. So that's enough to me between the two cases. It happens to be that if if somebody, you know, has to, has to have an operation, brain operation, and they have to shave the payas, you get a lady to shave the payas. Right? Because she's not in the din. So you get though you get a woman to shave the pace, even though the Gemara Maka says that you're not allowed to have a lady shave your pace because you're Messiah, because you're going to move your head with the with the woman as she's shaving your pace. So then it, uh, so then it's a problem. Oh, why is that any different than like you say a chola has to eat chazer? It's the only thing he could eat. So if someone needs to have surgery and needs to have his pace cut. What's like okay? So he needs to have it. Gemara Makas is not talking about a lady. He's talking not, about anybody. Nobody but, said he shouldn't do it, David. I'm just saying, get a lady barber. But it's all the same. Oh, you should. Do you try and do a little better, right? You try at least. Why not? Why have a man do it? Let a woman do it. But Gemara Makas yeah, is not talking Jim about a lady, lady doing it. It's just talking to somebody else doing it. Your man, the Messiah, that person. I don't know where you got that. It's a, a lady doing it. No, I don't know. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Very good, Rafi. You're right. It's there. It's talking about the makif and the nikif are both chayet. That's what that's what you said, Rafi. Right. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Yeah, the Gemara <laughs> makif does not discuss a lady. It just discusses that it's an issa for the makif and the nikif. Why? Meaning the nikif is the guy who's getting his pay is shaved because he's going to move around his head. So you have the same. So meaning the, because of that, there's no heter to have a lady um, shave your head because she's because the nikif also has a problem. But the bottom line is, to answer your question, David, is we always look for the better way out. So the better way out would be to have a lady do the shaving. Um, right? The same thing we said by abortion. If somebody needs needs to get an abortion, abortion, we say have a yid do the abortion, not a guy and a lady. Right? Those are the best two options. A guy, lady to do the abortion. No, oh, you just the opposite. You want to get a Yiddish good... woman. You said a Yiddish woman. I said a Yid. Is it a Yid or a guy? Oh, that's what I said. Yeah, you want to get a Yid lady, not a guy male. <laughs> that those are the right. You want a Yiddish lady to do the the abortion. As as wild as that sounds. As as, as that sounds. Um. Yeah. Fine. Okay, so that's what we're holding. So then, so umi. So then, three lines up from the bottom. Umi ika leman damar chotz olamishim yodas rabbi. Is there a shita that holds? Again, this whole thing gets back to a machloikis whether a chotz for a girl is mit mit midin yad or midin chotz, midin yad or midin shliach. I'm sorry. So the Gemara says, is there a shita that holds that chotz is not chotz is not because of yodas rabbi? But Tanya yodah. It says in the pasuk. That he has to put to get into her hand. That only tells me that the get has to go into her hand. Gaga chatzera bekarfifa. I mean, I had to know if it goes into her roof, into her yard, or to her karfif is a what do you call a karfif rafa an enclosure, right? I mean, I how do we know? Tama lemer, but nosan. It says give it, give her the get. Mikomo from wherever you give it. So you see that a get works, right? A get works miyado. Um. So, so the Indian get, so the one answer, the Indian get, Kuliyama Lei Pligi. So there's no machloikas by get, the Chatzar Mishum Yoda Esrabai, that the Chatzar works because it's an extension of her hand. Ki Pligi Leni Metzia. By a Metzia, that's where there's a machloikas, meaning where a girl finds a Metzia, how she kind it. 
Right, Mars of our on Why? Why? Yeah. Why does that have to be true? Why can't Shlichus work mitam chatzer and chatzer work mitam yad? That's really too what much. Is it? Big, yeah. No, there's a din by get that it has to be even us and beyond. It's a separate din. It has nothing to do with Shlichus. So even if Shlichus would work mitam chatzer, it still needs to be even us and beyond. Right. So let Shlichus be Mitam Chatzar, and Chatzar is kind of because of Yada, but not to be Yada. What, what, what does it make a difference if the Drasha includes Chatzar from Yada or, or Shlichus from Yada? I'm saying it's, well, then how do you understand it in a regular case? Well, that's what so we're handling. Shlichus is Mitam Chatzar. What's all my like this to begin with? Whether Shlichus is Mitam Chatz or Mitam Yad. So why don't you just say it's always that way? That's what I'm asking. Wow, what's the Raya from here? The, the, you stop asking what this is about. Well, what's the proof? The Gemara says this proves that, that Shlichus by Get is always Mitam Yad. Yeah. Why? Because you see that it works. So it has to be it has to be yada because if it's chutzur, then, then it might not work. This is a separate din of an asam be yada. It needs to go into her hand, right? So it's anachanami. It's saying so. There's no shaila by get. There's no shaila. If I throw, if I throw a get into her chutzur, it's a get. Correct. It's a good get. Yes. That's a Kenyan chutzur. That's not yad. It is yad. So that's the answer. Chutzur is mitam yad. So even if shlichus is mitam chutzur, it's mitam yad. It's but not because Shlichus is, is is Yada. He's saying that it's Mitam. He's saying it's Mitam Yad. That's what he's saying. No, but what's Mitam Yad? It's jumping a step. It's skipping a step of Chatzir. Even Chatzir is Mitam Yad. So it doesn't matter if Shlichus is Mitam Chatzir. I don't need to say Kuli Alma by Get. Shlichus is Mitam Yad. Chatzir right. is Mitam Yad. Chatzir by Get is Mitam Yad. Yeah, but Shlichus okay. could be Mitam Chatzar. He could be, yeah, but right now we're just saying that Chatzar by Get, it works for Yad. No, no, but, we're saying the Shlichus works because of Yad. I hear. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're saying, but uh, once it starts sounding like who's on first already, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay, I I hear what you're saying a little bit. I'll give you that much. I'll give you that much. Okay. <laughs> what that means that I give you anything is whatever. Anyway, so by Mitzia, Marsova, on Tomat Aleph now, Yalfina Mitzia Maget. We learn out Mitzia from Get, just like Get works out the odds, so it's so the Mitzia. Well, Marsova, Lo Yalfina Mitzia Maget. We don't learn out Mitzia from Get. By a Katana, every. Every, every, there's no much like this that we learn out Metziah from Get. So this, uh, that means that there's no much like this by Katana and by Get and Metziah, that it works mitzam yad. The much like this is by a cotton, by a male. One holds that you learn out a cotton from a katan. And one holds that you don't learn out a cotton from a katan. Or a third teretz. Mar Omar Chada, Omar Omar Chada, Veloy Pligi. Right? Um, that happens sometimes in me and Gershon. Right? One is saying one, one is saying another, and there's no machloik. You just have no idea what each other's talking about. <laughs> right? Now, that, I mean, that's, not, that's not what the Gemara here is saying. Right? So, Mar Omar Chada, Mar Omar Chada means that Rish, Rish Lakish is saying by Mitzia. And Rabbi Yochanan was talking about Get. That's one shot, Rashi says. Or one is talking about cotton, and one is talking about katana. They, they, they're talking about apples and oranges. There's no real machlokes. Yeah. Okay, so that's the third That's the third way to understand this. Uh, the machlokes. Fine. Zog the Mishnah. If he sees them, right? Meaning he sees people running, and then he asks, hey, what are they running after? So they're running after a metzia. Right? So then, um, Achar Tzvi, 
shover, meaning they're running after a tzvi that's broken, meaning it's a deer, but it's but it's but it's broken, so it's not running. Normally, a deer runs very fast. or after birds, shaloi parchu that they can't fly, meaning they just hatched, right? So, um, uh, yeah, my mother has. <laughs> if I would be in my mother's house tonight, she she got she, she got fertilized eggs that are sitting on her kitchen counter, ready to hatch any day. <laughs> so, mamish. This is this sugi, right? So they, you, they don't run anywhere, they think. So so it, it's going through the guy's yard. So this guy's a smart guy. He sees all these people running to find these this deer that can't move or these chickens that can't move. And he says, you know what? I want my sada to be zacha for me. So then zacha lawyer works for him. And he's kind of it. Right, Hayatzvi, we'll get back to that in a minute. Hayatzvi rots kedaka, but if there's a, a deer running regular, Hashayu geizlus mafrichin, right, or the or the geizlus are flying through his yard. Va'amar zochzeli sade, and he says my sade should be zaychen them. I want my sade to be kind of loyam aklum. He didn't say anything because it's not considered. What's the difference here? In the ratio, the case is is that it's not moving off his field. So Mamela, it's as it's as it's as if there's a fence around his field because the deer is not going anywhere and neither are the birds. But in the second case, where the deer is running, so it's not considered part of his rishus, right? Um, because it's not secure. So, and this is the way we pass him, what we're going to see in the Gemara. But Lemaisa, <laughs> it was very windy and it is very windy. I got somebody's garbage can on my front lawn. I have no idea whose it is. I Mamash have no idea whose it is. Now, it's, it's one of my neighbors, Mastama, right? So is my Chatzar Kaina now? It's a, it's a Metzia. It's a lost Metzia. Is my Chatzar Kaina. So the answer is my Chatzar is not Kaina because I don't have a fence around my Chatzar. So it's not considered secure. The wind could come and blow it right back off. Right? Same thing if uh, um, I find money or you find money in your front lawn. It really depends. If you have a fence around it, so it's considered secure there. So Mamela, you could be kind of. But if birds, you don't have a, then it's birds not that are flying, there's a Havamina that I could something that's flying, I could be kind of it just no. because it's over my rishos? No, but that's what he says. Then the ratio uh, birds they can't fly. That's it's talking about the birds that can't fly. Correct. That was in the ratio. Right. And the safer they're 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 moving, even if they're not flying, but if they're moving and they can move off your property relatively easily, then it's fine. Right, meaning it's not. No, we had an Agai We had an Agai There's a Kenyan Durabon on birds. We said there's a Kenyan Durabon on, on bees. No, it was really more bees. No, bees on birds. The Rashi included birds. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, but anyways, it has to be a second. I'll tell you where the most Nagaya this comes to. Is the good old found change in the candy machine, Shiloh? Right <laughs> in yeshivas, when you hang out in yeshiva, this is like a very common Shiloh. Who gets to keep the money that's in the candy machine? Is that considered secure? Meaning, it could be, it could be its extra change that the guy left. You don't know who. It could be the last guy to purchase, or it could be the machine gave extra change, so the guy just left it in there. So whose is it? So I used to think that the chutzur is kinda. Even if it's even if it's a guy who left it, right? Meaning a guy got extra change and didn't bother to take it. So okay, so the owner of the candy machine is kind of it, right? Because it's his chotzer, lachar is kind of. But the only thing is, I don't think that's considered secure. I don't know. Is money in the in the change slot considered secure? Why is it any less secure than having a fence around a field? Where is it going? No, any guy can, you know, you have kids that always look in the, you know, you always put your hands in there to see if you find any change. It's not protected. Yeah, I could, I could go up someone's steps and take his Amazon package too. Doesn't mean it's not Mishtamer. Um, It's not Mishtamer, you say? I'm saying it is Mishtamer. It can't go anywhere by itself. Things aren't falling out of it. That's the definition of Mishtamer, that it's not going to go by itself? 
I could be. I think so. I hear that. That that makes sense. If it's not going to move, if it's not going to leave by itself, yeah. But how do you? Where do you? How do you calculate wind? That's by itself, without any person going in and taking it. You saying wind? There. Wind is not going to get inside the change slot. Right. Usually not. I hear. Um. Okay. So maybe, maybe that, maybe that would be. Yeah, but anyways, I think it's so, ironic. I think if if a strong enough wind would get inside the change slot, it would probably move the machine before it moves the change. <laughs> now, now I realized my big error when I was growing up used to go to all the pay phones and try to find the dimes that were returned. <laughs> That's when it was a dime. <laughs> You're gonna there. You go, Rachman. So, Kari <laughs> make sure you stay away from pay phones. <laughs> hey, Rachman, this is not confessional. B, <laughs> nobody knows what a payphone is, and and what's a dime for a payphone? <laughs> Ask Aaron. <laughs> no, we we only know from calling collect and saying call me back. We don't. We only know from that, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, or say it in Yiddish. I say say it in Yiddish so the operator doesn't hop, right? <laughs> okay. Anyways, back. This is ugly tomorrow. Omer Rabbi Yehuda Mashmul who shaimit b'tzad sadeu. It only works to be kind and oh, there was another thing in the Tysis. Meaning, it sounds like from the Rasha and the Gemara, it says, if the person says, my soda should be zaycha for me, then he's zaycha. Mashma, mashma from the Mishnah, that if the guy is not aware of it, his soda is not kain. Right? Meaning, I have this garbage can on my front lawn. It has no name, no, no, no anything. Let's say the guy's Miyayish. Am I kind it? I didn't, I mean, I'm, yeah, I happen to have seen it, but let's say I'm away. And I have no idea about it. So from the Mishnah, it's mashma that you're not kind of. Taisa says, no, it's not. It's not. You're kind of, even if you don't say that you want to be kind of. Your, your soda is automatically kind of. Right? Um, so that means if you're not home, the guy can't go back into your, and get his own garbage can back? No, because there it's not a Metsiya. It's it's a Shavu Oh, okay, okay. Meaning, let's say you and Miyayish on you. Let's say, David, from your house, somehow, you, you you look up and down your block, you can't find the garbage can. So you're Miyayish. Then you drive by my house, and it's sitting on my lawn, right? So you and Miyayish. Now, yeah, you, since you and Miyayish, my yard is kind of, yeah. I mean, no, it's not, because it's not it's not considered Shmira, because I don't have a fence, and the wind can blow it right off my yard. But theoretically, but then, yeah, but again, Tyson is saying, don't misunderstand from the Mishnah, that you, in order for your yard to be kinder, you need to be standing there and say, I want it to be kinder. Taz is saying, no, you don't have to. It automatically is kinder for you. Oh, so why does the Mishnah say that you said it? That you needed to say it? Because of the Sefer, they wanted to tell you that even when you said it, it doesn't work because it's not considered shamor because the birds can just fly right away, right off your field or the deer can just run away. Yeah. You muted, Rabban. I already you muted. By, by uh, Sandy Mobrasha lived on Seagirt, if you remember, and he yeah. said there was a boat in his backyard when Sandy stopped. Rebaran, Rebaran, I hate to correct you, but the boat was in his front yard. Okay. <laughs> so maybe... It was in his front yard for months until we put it in the middle of Seagirt. Right. Uh... <laughs> so I hate to correct you all, it was in the side of his yard, and somebody here put it into the middle of Seagirt. Um, I'm happy to say it. I should not have brought it up. That's really... <laughs> yeah. Anyways, fine. So that's that's the Shiloh. That that I mean that's that's the Gemara Shiloh. Whether the guy is cut, whether the yard is cut. So I'm gonna be who the today. The guy has to be standing next to his field. Right. Meaning, if he's not standing next to his field, then he's not cutting it. Right. Um. Because why? What's what's the point of standing? Because now it's Meshumer, meaning if David's by using our, our original or not not the boat with Momo, but we can use either one, his garbage can in my yard. So if I'm standing outside, then I will make sure the wind doesn't blow it off my yard because I want a free garbage can. Right? So basically standing next to the yard makes it considered as if the yard is, is watched. So the Gemara says, particularly today you why isn't this field be kind even without it? 
a person's chatzer, this is what we said before that Tyson's pointed out, that a chatzer of a person is kainim even shalai midas. So why do you have to be standing there? So when it says, Hani, me leave a chatzer mishtameres. Yes, a chatzer is kainah as long as it's a chatzer that's mishtameres, meaning it's secure. Whatever's in the yard is not going to not gonna pick pick up pick itself up and walk out. Have a chatzer she'en a mishtameres, but it's a chatzer that's not mishtameres, meaning you have no fence around it. If you stand next to it, yes, then not. Nah. So we not tamer the chotzer shein mishdameres. And how do we know that a chotzer that's not mishdameres he aimer with sad zadeo in eloi loy? If you're standing next to the sada, yes. If not, not. So again, and you can't make this up. This is, I think, what the third time that we're having paya. The third time that we're having paya in the last two days, and tomorrow is even more. Tomorrow. The Mishnah we're doing in Peya is tomorrow's daf. So, whatever. That's the Shem. Yeah. Does that? Does anybody know the law when when the when the Amazon guy puts the thing on your porch? It's not Mishnah. When he and he takes a picture, he takes a picture right that he delivered it, and then you call them tomorrow and you say you never got the thing. Is it considered delivered or not delivered? I think Amazon pays for it. No. Uh Halacha is a big issue. Uh, according to the halacha, it's a big issue. But Amazon, I th- isn't that? I'm saying, why do they take the picture? That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm asking. I mean, if I don't if know, no for for high expensive items, they started a new thing. They send you a code. You have to give the driver a code, and they won't deliver it. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, I order computers and stuff. They give you a, a certain code because they stop leaving it. It's too much money. Uh-huh. Gotcha. So I, I I don't know. I don't know what the law is. I don't know what the law Paris, is. I had that I had that recently with Uber Reads also like that. What they gave you a code? Yeah. That's some expensive food. No, so they give you a code because otherwise they just deliver it and then it's the claim, people claiming and charging it back. Right. So that's that's the same. So is your okay, so the question is what it is in, in halacha, Right. Um. Fine. So now, how do we know? We know from this Mishnah Paya that or actually a Bryce the Tanya, beir. Let's say the boss is in the city, right? So he went. You know, the boss had to go to the city. He left his workers in the field, and he knows his workers are not the greatest. I know these guys are gonna. I guess you could substitute workers for kids. I know my kids are gonna. Are gonna leave. Uh, I asked them to harvest the field. I know they're leaving. They're leaving stuff out there. So lo shikha. It's not going to be shikha. Meaning, what he he's saying here is that I know they're going to forget it, and I don't want to forget it. So therefore, he's saying anything that I forget is not really forgetting. Right? lo shikha. So you would think that it's not shikha, meaning because. He made an announcement that anything I forget in the field is not considered forgotten. And you you forgot the Aymer in the field. If you were in the field and you forgot it, then it's Shekha. But not when you're in the city. Right? Meaning it only becomes Shekha if you forgot it when you were by the field. But if, if you forgot it later, then and you, when you're in the city, then that's not considered Shekha. So the Gemara says, well, what went on over here exactly? This whole thing is a kasha. You said that, okay, you would think that it's not shikha al mahavi shikha, which means that you're saying that it is shikha. Because you said, you would have thought that it's not shikha. So that's mashma, that it is shikha. And then the Gemara brings the pasuk of So you see, it's not shikha. So Meaning, you asked one thing, assuming that it was not going to have a dinner shikha, and then you come and say that it is a shikha, right? In that case, I mean, I'm sorry, the other way around. It's you would you would have thought that it's not shikha, so it's mashra that it's shikha, and then you go bring a pasuk and tells you that it's not shikha. So, so how do we understand this? This is what the Bryce is saying. The sada shikhuach. And uh, in a sada shechuach may kari have a shikha. If you were in the field and you forgot, so that's it. Once you forgot, there's no backseas, you forgot. 
Zohar Ul Basai Shikhuach Ain Shikha. But if you remembered and you said to yourself while you're while you're gathering in your field, you say, Oh, you know, there's one over there in the in the left corner that I forgot. I'm going back to get it. So then that's not Shik. My time. The Kivan, the Koi Gaba, Havile Khatsaira was oscillated. And the, the reason it works is because since he's standing next to the Khatzer, when he was in the Khatzer when he forgot, so then as we know, Shikha becomes Hefka. So he's rekoined it. He's, he's to make it simple. He's basically being rekoined because he's standing there to his field. But if he's in the city, even he remembers and he says, I'm not forgetting anything in the field. And then he forgot. Then it's Shikha. Why? My time at the lesser Gabe, the Ruskid word. He's not by the field in order that it should be kinded. So you see that standing next to the field can make all the difference in whether you're, whether you're kind of things or not. So you want to ask me, my, who says, Duma, Xerza Kosovi? Maybe it's Xerza Kosovi, the Besodden Havi Shikha. When you're in the, in the field, it's considered Shikha. But you're learning Havi Shikha in the city, it's not a Shikha. Right? What do we have to make all sorts of fancy tires about standing next to the field, not standing next to the field? Don't go back to take it. The rabbi is shikha zahir, because that will tell you that there is something called shikha zahir. So the one says, but you need this. But don't we need that possible of to tell you that it's a lav? Meaning, we know that it's a mitzvah say to leave your shikha for, um, for the aniyan. But we need this pasuk to tell us that if you don't leave it, not only don't you get a mitzvah to say, you're actually doing a loisa say. So the says, no, imkain name a kro Don't take the shikha, my loisa What does it mean, don't go back? L'rabe shikha se'ir, to include that shikha se'ir is also considered shikha. Okay, then we're going to ask the katim look at the tanan. Shalafanov, this was the complicated case where the guy starts in the middle of the field. So what's in front of him is not shikha, and what's behind him is shikha. Shalafanov ain't shikha, shalacharav ye shikha, shuva v'altashi. In front of him, meaning if any, as he's walking down the field, he forgets things, he forgets to take grain, so then that's shikha. But what's behind him, um, uh, I'm sorry, shalafanov ain't shikha, what's in front of him is is not shikha, because he can go back to it. Meaning, it's this is happening. If it happened, the, we said that it's talking about in the end, end of the field, right? If he leaves the last grains at the end of the field, and then it's clear that he's going to turn around and go back up and then come back down. So then that's not shikha. So shalafon of ain shikha, but shalachar of yesh shikha shuba val If what's behind him already, then it is there is shikha because it's in, it, that it's in the isra val toshik. Zakla al kol shuba val toshik shikha. Anything. That you're not supposed to go back, you're not allowed to turn around. Then, that's in uh, that's shikha. Kol sheina b'val toshim ain't a shikha. But if you if it's not in the isra of turning around, then it's not shikha. Whatever it is, you see that that's what you need the pasuk for. So Ravashi Amakra Yiyeh the Rabbi shikha to ears. And there's a different word. The pasuk the word Yiyeh tells you that you could have shikha when you're in the city. Fine. So bottom line is that's the proof. That is the proof. That we know that a person, if his field is not mishtamer, the way for his field to be kind of he has to be standing next to the field. And we know it from Shikha. Ula agrees. And he says that's when he's standing next to his field. That's when he's also standing next to his field. So when I asked, So Rabbi Abba asked the Kasha to Ula, my Sibir, and Gamliel was a Kenyan. So there's a stola, so has a Hakadama. So when you have chumas and maestras, so maestras, you don't need to actually, chumas and maestras, you don't have to actually physically remove it. You can remove it in your mind or, or verbalize and say, in that pile of grain that's in my house, meaning you're, they're on a ship somewhere, right? And they want to make sure that the, their family doesn't start eating tevel, which is a big issue. So on the boat, they say, you know, one-tenth of the thing is going to be maestra and one-fifty is going to be chuma. However, they do all the chumas and maizas, right? But Rabbi Gamliel decided he's going to, and that's enough, that's enough. But Rabbi Gamliel decided he wants to do Zrizin Magdimen, and he wants to even give it over to the Levi, not just separate it, he wants the Mamash give it. So Rabbi Shuv and Levi was on the boat. 
So, so could it be Rabbi Shulam and Levi? Was it Rabbi Shulam and Levi? No, no, Rabbi Yeshua, not Rabbi Shulam. <laughs> Not Rabbi Shuv and Levi. Well, he must have been a Levi. Levi's an Amira. Right, that's what I thought. That's what I'm saying. It. I, yeah. I mean, he was a Ben Levi, right? But it's just a different Rabbi Shuv and Levi. Right? Rabbi Shuv Halevi. Rabbi Shuv Halevi. Rashi doesn't say no, Halevi. No, no, no. I'm just saying. No, no, no. He, it would yeah. be. It has to be a Levi, right? Um. Yeah. So anyway. So he decided to do this. The Rabbi Gamliel decided this again. So my son Rabbi Gamliel is the king. Show you buying between they're on a ship. The Misa that I'm going to eventually measure out is going to go to Yeshua. On Tomer Beis. And the Makam, where the Miser is. Again, they're on a boat. So they're doing this whole Handorai in his yard, which is uh, wherever it was, a thousand miles away. He says, so I'm giving the Makam where the Miser is to Reb Yeshua, and he's getting the makom where the meiser is, and the meiser. The iser achar shani asid lamud, and then another and another tent, meaning the meiser ani, that I'm going to take. Nasan la kibim and Yosef, I'm going to give it to Akibim and Yosef, who was the gabai tzedaka. Today she yiskep by laniyim umakayim musalay, and the makom is musal. So Rabbi Gamliel's frumkai, what he did here. Again, normally he could just separate the, the Meisters on the boat and finish. But he wanted to be Mekayim actually giving it over. So he rented the place of his yard, wherever it was, at home, to one to Rabbi Shua and one to, to Akiva ben Yosef. So then the Gemara says, so what's the question? Didn't we just say that if you want your yard to be kind of something, you need to be standing next to it? So basically what he did is he gave some of his yard over to Rabbi Shua and to Rabbi and Yosef, and then they were going to be kind of the, the maestros. But they're not standing next to the field. So how is it kind of? Were they standing next to the field of Rabbi Gamliel? They weren't standing there, so how are they kind of? So it's a kasha on Ula and all the other mandam who say that if a person is, is uh, a person needs to be standing next to his field to be kind of. Here, clearly, Rabbi Gamliel held that you don't, you do not have to be standing next to the field. So I'm going to get into it's get into all the kinyanim here. So Amar Lei, Dami Haimer Rabbanik Deloy Gamri Inchi Shmaitza. He didn't even bother answering me. He says that you're like uh, somebody who did not learn the sugya properly. That was his answer. He didn't, he didn't give him an answer. It's his kashi just said he didn't learn the sugya properly. So he also the sura. And Rabbi is the one that asked this. And when Rabbi came to sura, Amar Lehu. Ula said this din that you have to be standing next to the yard in order for it to be kinder. And this was my kasha. So that Rabbanon told back to Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Gamliel, you are, your, your kasha is not a kasha. Because you were assuming that how is Rabbi Gamliel being makna them, the maisa, by, by giving them the field. And then the field, they're going to be kinder, the grain. That's not what Rabbi Gamliel was doing. Rabbi Gamliel was doing a Kenyan Agav. He was basically giving them a yard, and together with the yard, he was being makna to them, the Maisa, which again was what we said we do by Mechiras Hametz. One of the Kenyanim we do is that the rabbi rents, let's say, his closet to the guy, and Agav, that closet, he's makna all the Hametz that the people gave to him to sell. Right, so that's essentially what Rabbi Gamliel did over here. You're assuming that Rabbi Gamliel was renting in the yard and then saying that he's going to be kind of the, his yard. Rabbi, now this new yard that Rabbi Shua and Rabbi Kiva ben Yaisa took, their yard is going to be kind of this Hefker Maisa, right, from Rabbi Gamliel. So they, they said back, that's not what the Kenyan was. The Kenyan was a Kenyan Agav. And Rabbi Zayra Kibla, Rabbi Abba Loi Kibla, Rabbi Zayra, was Makabal this and Mela it was he was Makabal this terrace and Rav Abba was not Makabal he was the one that asked the Kasha he was not Makabal so my Rav Shaper Rav Deloy Kibla Rav Abba was correct by not being Makabal because there's a Kasha but he loy hayelam suda liknas imena b'chalipin did they not have a handkerchief that they could do a Kenyan chalipin meaning if that's the way they wanted to be makna the field and the and the grain 
to to Reb Yeshua the Levi and Reb Kiva and Yosef said, why couldn't they just take out a handkerchief? And Reb Gamliel, um, they give their handkerchief to Reb Gamliel, and Reb Gamliel, in exchange for the handkerchief, gives them his mice. Why didn't they do a kinney like that? Right, exactly what you do with the rabbi and Mechiras Chametz. Why do you do both of them? You just said you do both. We went by Mechiras Chametz. You said Mechiras Chametz. You do agav. You said you sell part of the cabinet. We do and both. I know you do the handkerchief part. Correct. That is correct. Why do you have to do both? Why do you have to do? You because know, we in works. We don't know which Kenyan works. We want to get in every Kenyan. And that's not an answer over here. No. So he's asking why couldn't they just do? No, this is between two yidden. Between Kenyan between two yidden is much easier than a Kenyan between a yid and a god. So oh, okay, fine. That's why by, by us by Armachi we do what we do a lot more. But this you is do it more. Okay. Why couldn't they just do a Kenyan Chalipin finished right again? The guy gives his. Sudur to Rabbi Gamliel, and Rabbi Gamliel gives him his mice. So why don't they do it? Right? Because Toivas Hano is not considered anything tangible. What's Toivas Hano? Meaning, when a Kayan, when a Yid, when a Yisrael separates Chumas and Mice. So once it's separated, is that considered his? That it's that he's giving it to a Kayan? No, it doesn't belong to him. He happens to have a choice which Kayan and which Levi he wants to give it to. And he can get a kickback. Tavis Hano is just a fan, is just a word for kickback, right? But a legal kickback, right? Meaning it doesn't own. We were thinking that when you separate your grain into Chumas and Maisa, so you still own it and you have a right to give it to whoever you want. It's not true. It's not true. It's not yours. Right, the only thing you can get out of it is you can decide which coin you want to give it to, and then you'll get after some because that coin will give you free tickets to the ball game because you're giving him, uh, you're giving him the trumas and the mices, right, or whatever he's going to give to you. So that's not considered tangible if, for it to work with the Kenyan Khalif. What are you saying? Um, if that puts it under the two percent threshold, is it good? What do you mean? He gave the coin two percent, but he wants a half a percent back. I don't. I don't think he. I don't think he could demand anything back. He could just assume that he's. Well, going he's not going to give it to that coin. He has a. He has twenty thousand acre farm. He doesn't have a a pot on his windowsill like you have. He has twenty thousand acres. He has five hundred pounds of truma. Um. Yeah. Avi and Aaron are hitting each other to get your true the guy's true Um No, so I, I don't say so what are you saying? So he has to give two percent, yeah. Yeah. So he gives two percent to Aaron Kaplan. He says, well, I'll give you the two percent rather than Avi Khan. You gotta give me back a a quarter of a percent. Now it's under the two percent that he was high to give. Right. Yeah, so let's say he's doing it. Let's say he does that. He do that? You gave me the opening. I have to take it. You know, the, the Kevin O'Leary, the guy on Shark Tank, they call him Mr. Wonderful. He says, if it's 2%, I don't get out of bed in the morning. Yeah, but he, you're not, I hate to tell you, you're very nice. And I know your mother loves you dearly, but you're not Mr. Wonderful, okay? You get out for 2%. If you don't, you're even dumber than I think you are. <laughs> you left yourself open over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew, uh, you'd, I knew you'd appreciate that one. <laughs> anyway. is, he, is he called a friend of yours? Yeah, who needs enemies, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they don't use the mute button. <laughs> We're Rafa. saving that for Rafa. you. Rafa, because he didn't make it into this coin. Uh, he didn't even make the cut on this coin example. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, uh, okay, we'll try and include you in the next example, Rafa. Uh, so yes, yeah, and Hanami. So he's going to get a kickback. So we're saying that that kickback is not tangible enough for it to work as a Kenyan for Kenyan Khalifa. That that's essentially what the Gemara is saying, right? But you're right. I guess theoretically you can make it. You can really make hold out for the highest bidder, especially if you have a high quality grain, right? So maybe you could, but the Gemara is assuming that it's not it's not tangible enough to make a Kenyan that way. Hanami. So Toivasana is not 
you you cannot do a Kenyan that way for Karka. Meaning, again, let, let's just go quickly through the Chakalataya. He had wanted to bring a proof from Rabbi Gamliel that Rabbi Gamliel is being Makna the Meisner, together with, not together, he's being Makna his field to Rabbi Kiva, to Akiva ben, uh, who is it? Akiva ben Yosef, and to Rabbi Shua the Levi. And then they're being kind of the Meisner that's in the field. And they, but they're not standing next to the field. That was the kasha. So we say, so we wanted to say, no, that was not the Kenyan that was going on here. The Kenyan that was going on here was the Kenyan Agav. When they're kind of the Karka, they're also kind of the grain. To which now Rava is saying, you can't do a Kenyan that way. Because the only thing that's going on here, what it's not Rib Gamliel's grain that he has a choice who to give it to. It belongs to the Kahanim and the Lim. Oh, is he saying he has a choice? Yeah. So what are he, what's he going to get out of that choice? A little bit of Tavis, a little bit of a kickback. That little bit of a kickback is not enough of a financial transaction to be able to be done with a Kinyan Chalipin. And it and it's the same way it can't be done with a Kinyan Chalipin, it can't be done with a Kinyan Agav Kark. All right? I'm having like flashbacks and Mechiras Chametz here. All the rabbis told my Agav Kark, the Chalipin, and back and forth. And forth. It's good. It's good. The only thing is, it's too it's, early for Pesach. I'm going to forget. Uh, it's preparation. It's preparation. I know, but the problem is that 30 days, my memory is going to expire, and that's going to be two weeks before Pesach. Right? Unless we have more of this. Right? Anyways, below he, and it's not true. This concept is not true. Matanus kahuna nesina By matanus kahuna, it says nesina is given. Chalipin derech mecha chumemchul. Chalipin is a derech mecha chumemchul, meaning Matnas Kahuna is a present. So therefore, Khalipin does not work by presence. Khalipin is meant as a business transaction. But giving, you can give a present Agav Karka. That you could do. So that's considered a strong giving. So Mamela, again, in this Kasha, we wanted to say that you can't do a Kenyan Khalipin with Trumas and Meisters because there's nothing tangible, not enough there. To do it with, and we thought, okay, and that would be the same thing with an agav karka, and then now we're saying no, chalipin will not work because chalipin is a business transaction. Agav karka does not have to be a business transaction. You can do an agav karka even for a matano, right? Um, yeah, with the guy actually, we do give him a matano. A mechiras chametz. There's a big tumult about what to do with the bleas that are in the kalim. The Chomets Belias and the Kalim. So what do you do with that? All right? Because if you give, if you just give the whole Kli to the guy, if you sell the Kli to the guy, that means God's Kli is all has to do Tfilas Kalim after Pesach. All right? Because you just sold a guy a Kli. Now you're taking it back. So all these different eights is what to do. So in the Mechiras Chomets that Rabbi David does, they give the Belias B'matana to the guy. There's no chalipin done on it. There's no agav karka done on it. It's just a plain old present. Here you go. You can have the bleas in the in the in the utensils. Okay, fine. So hold on. We Sounds used very much giving like giving the kalim to the guy to get out of tabling it. Now we're using it to get messed over. I mean, like, what are you saying? We give the guy the guy to kalim to get out of tabling it, and now we're saying you don't want to do it because you can. Uh, Um. Yeah, we want to get out of the. Well, I don't understand what you're saying, Perth. Usually, That's, if you want to get out of Tvila, you tell people to give mean, the cake uh, to a guy, you, borrow it back. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? Which way are you going? <laughs> I hear. Yes, you're right. Normally, we sell it to a guy so that it becomes the guy's, and we're just borrowing it from him. Mask him. Right here, we're doing the opposite. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, and the, the shyness is how come you don't have to if you're selling if you're selling your whole house to a guy because you leave him to pay stuff so why don't you need to why do you need to take off the mezuzahs and make a new brach right because it was a guy's now it's a yid's well if you left your kasuba there too <laughs> yeah <laughs> very good <laughs> okay <laughs> Rapapa Omar Rapapa has a different territory he has a more a pasha the terrace. That's a heres. Heres. What about all the flesh? You have two thousand dollars worth of flesh in the deep freezer in the basement. Ah, uh, Rabban, you're not. No, Paris has moved on from that. I mean, that's that's not chametz. You have to. What about his sourdough mix? Whatever you call it. Starter. But the starter, the starter. 
because it's Chometz Gomer. He has he a three hundred year old starter from President from George Washington. Yeah, correct. <laughs> George, okay, what color was George Washington's white starter? <laughs> yeah, so he's got his star. He doesn't sell Chometz Gomer. So what does he do with that? That's already a much bigger shot. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so Rapop Omar Das Acheres Makno is at Shani. So the Rapop says it's a two different story there. If you're being kind of something, the Hefker, so it's a one way Kenyan, meaning nobody's being Makna anything to you, it's Hefker. You're being kind of, so you need to be standing next to the field. But if somebody's actively giving you something, then there's two, there's two brains going on here. There's a giver and a taker. So when there's a giver and a taker, you don't need to be standing next to the field. When you're just a taker, so then you have to make sure that it's very solid, that the field is considered watched. But if there's a giver and a taker, then not. Yeah? Fine. I mean, not tamer. And how do you know this? It's not raw. It's on rots and achar metziah. So we know this from our Mishnah. The Mishnah says, if you see them running after the metziah, that's when he can run after them and he'll get to them before they leave his field. Right? That's when it says that you see people running. I mean, you have to have the ability to get it before it leaves your field. Otherwise, your field's not kind. Oh boy, Rabbi Yirmi, you have matana heich. Rabbi Yirmi says, what happens if it's a matana? Meaning if the guy said, you know, there's some deer running around and they have broken legs or they have some some uh, birds running around, they also have broken wings. You could be kind of if you want. So do you need to also be able to get to them before they leave your field? So Kiblu Minei, Rabbi Abba Bar Kahana, Rabbi Abba Bar Kahana, was Mekalim, Avapi Shirat Zacharin, Vein Magion, even if he runs after them, if he doesn't get to them before they leave the field, he's still kind of. My time, Allah Mishum, the Das Acheres, Makna Eseshani, when somebody else is giving it to you, then it's a much stronger Kenyan, so you don't need to be, your field doesn't need to be watching it. Meaning, one thing to be kind of a hefker, a hefker bird or hefker deer, so then there's only one das here, that's yours. So you have to make sure it's very strong, so therefore you have to stand next to your field. But when somebody's giving it to you as a present, then you don't have to be standing next to the field. Fine. So I'm going to papa, so I'm going to see me, papa, I get the das acheres makna. So if I get, the husband being makna to get to the wife. It doesn't stop work for the man to just drop by the, the woman's house and throw throw the get into her yard. She has to be standing there. Well, so why? There's two, there's two, there's two brains here. There's the man giving the get and the woman receiving it. And we just Rapapa just said a terrace that when there's two brains, you don't need to be standing next to the field. Shani get Isabel Karfa. No, get is different because the get he could actually force her to take a get. In the old days, a man could force a woman to take the get. So since he could force her to take a get, so then we have to make sure we want her to to be standing next to it. So Gemara doesn't like that terrace. Maskalar of Sheshis Breder of Iti Vilav Kavachaymeru isn't it a Kavachaymer? Ma get the Isabel Karcha a get can happen by force. Yeah, man, this is the Tzad with with Tzad In if she's standing next to her Chotzer. Or next to her house, then the get works. Eloi, loy, but if not, not. So matana, the midaite, a matana, which can only work with the person's das. You know, but you can't force somebody to accept the present. Like kolshikain, wouldn't it be a kolshikain that they need to be standing next to the next to the field? Okay, so the Gemara has a different term. It's Elam Ravashi, Antam Aleph now. Chotzer is Rabbi Mishum Yad. Chotzer, like we said a blad ago, Chotzer works like Yad. But it's not any worse than Shlichus. Meaning it works for Yad, but it's not any worse than Shlichus. So Gabi get the Chayvula by a get, which is a bad thing for her, right? Because Lachar, she's not, she's not going to have to be supported anymore. So ain't Chavan Ladam Shalabafanam. You can't be Machai of somebody something because it's working as a Shlichus. Then you can't be Machai of somebody when they're not there. Right, Gabi matano this but a matano that it's a schos, meaning somebody offers you a free present, you don't have to be there. Everybody, everybody's happy to get a free present. Meaning you can't be mechay of somebody something when they're not around. They have to, they have to agree, because otherwise they say, "What are you doing me? Uh, what are you doing me a favor over here?" Right? But for a schos, sochin la dem shalay as we know, you could be mezaka somebody for something not in, not in front of him, right? 
So therefore, by get, she needs to be standing next to it. But if somebody else is being mocked as something to me, and he says, you know, I just dumped uh, I dumped uh, free food in your yard. So my yard's kind of, even if I'm not standing there, because it's Zachin Ladam, Shalai Bafanam. But a get doesn't work like that, which is which well, we'll end here, but that's a very interesting din by Mechiras Chametz. It happens all the time, especially in this neighborhood where, where a lot of people have not from relatives, so they want to sell their not from relatives chametz, right? Without them knowing. So it's a big shot on the price. Can, can they do without them? Because it's chavin la'adam. <laughs> you can't go sell somebody something. For, you can't go sell my things. But on the other hand, it's zochin You're la'adam. selling it for them without their knowledge and, and they're using it on, on, your, on Pesach? So better to be a crook than to own chametz on Pesach. That's what comes out. Better that they should be stealing from a guy, then they should be over on Bal Yerob Bal Yimatzah. How can you sell somebody else's stuff that you don't have a Kenyan on? I have my relative, the guy, my relative who acts yeah. like a guy across right. the street, and I'm going to sell his chametz for him, not that he realizes it or not. I, I don't have any Kenyan on his chametz. Make it easy. I can, I can add that in the Mechira. Um... Oh, so that's the Shaila and the Paiskim. So the Paiskim say that even though it's normally Chav and Ladim, like you're saying, right? But Lamai say it's Zach and Ladim because since you're selling their Chametz, they're not going to be over on Bayer or Bayer every second of Pesach, right? Meaning when they, yes, they'll be a considered a Ganav temporarily. Temporarily, they'll be considered a Ganav, right? But it's still, it's, it's meaning it's a case of Chav and Zach at the same time. That's the Shaila. Right, that is the shadow. So the Maisa, we do it. We do it. Ramaisha says you can do it. You can sell the uh, next week or whatever it happens to be. Uh, we're good. So, um, yeah. So that's uh, okay, we'll stop over there. But that's uh, that's the maskon of the Gemara. That Zachan you could do, Chavan you can't do. Fine. Um okay. Um, uh, I, <laughs> when my brother finds out I sold his comments, he's gonna hate me again. <laughs> you don't have to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to tell him? <laughs> no, that's the point of Shalaiba Fun of Rock. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave him with the Avera. <laughs> okay.